Hi team, for Pure Wisdom Chiropractic and Lifestyle, I'm here with one of the greats, Tommy Hafey. Tommy, first of all, thanks for coming to Wontaggy. Uh, I go a lot of places, and I've been to Wontaggy on quite a few occasions where I've taken football training, uh, and I, I just get around. I do 55 to 60,000 k in my car. Wow. I, got, uh, uh, I had four schools to speak to last week, I've got two this week. But I'm also travelling to Warrnambool, and I'm travelling to your Lawn North Football Netball Club on Friday. Wow. Uh, you've got to well, be doing things. We're very grateful that, that you've, you've taken two hours things. out of your time to drive yeah. out here. Um, now tell me, you're 81. Um, there's a lot of people out there that say, I'm too old to exercise. Mm -hmm. We speak to a lot of people on a daily basis and say they're too old to do this or that. What's your response to that? Oh, look, you don't have to be a fanatic. And you don't have to do things that are going to say upset you. Have you checked like that? And, um, well, it's just a matter of doing something. And I, I hope that everybody... You know, thinks about doing something yeah. instead of talking about it. Totally. Yeah. So for the people that are overwhelmed by exercise, because um, a lot of people see what you do and they go, oh, I could never do what Tommy Hafey does. You know, I'm often reminding them, well, he's been doing it for 50 or 60 or mm. 70 years, so it's not a, it's not that he woke but, up one day and did 200 no, sit-ups. No. What do you recommend people do for that first step? Well, funny thing you say that, because I say to the children when I go and speak to the grade five and six, I want you to do something for me before you go to bed tonight. I want you to do as many push-ups as you can possibly do. It's a great exercise. That's not the reason. I'm not going to ask your parents, your teachers, your coaches. I want you to see if you can do something without anybody being on your back. And I want you to write the number that you do on the calendar next to your bed because by the time the month's up, you'll be absolutely staggered. I want you to try and beat that number each night. And when the month is up, you'll be staggered. And I'm hoping what's going to happen, you'll continue to do it. And I even say to the older folk, hey, so many older folk are forever ready to criticise the youngsters and I ask them to do something. If it's just putting on the trackie, going for a power walk, going to the gym or whatever, and if you can't do it for one full month, never ever start criticising youngsters again. Yeah, Until you it, can do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, yeah, I was going to say, even yeah. the oldies can do uh, one push-up or two yeah. push-ups or, or go three for a push walk. Go for a power walk. Yeah, yeah. You just get up and do. Yeah. yeah. Um, the other parts of your lifestyle, again, everyone knows you for your exercise, but what other parts in your life do you um, say contribute to your health, uh, your diet, um, mm. and just your social approach to life? I mean, you know everyone, so obviously the social part of your life must be a big factor in your health as well. Oh, uh, it is in family. I'm demented family. I just take, I take two boys to school every day, two of my grandchildren. Yeah, wow. They're 17 and 19. Last year, the boy, and I've done since February. Although my daughter corrected me no date since kindergarten, the year before. <laughs> and last year, the boy who is now 19 said, Pa, this is the last week you'll ever take me to school. I said, no, darling, I'll take her to uni. I take her up the, uh, to the Brighton Station because it goes to university from there. Yeah. yeah so I just think family's so good. Yep. Uh, but I, I just think that uh, doing things with them. Yep. Yeah, I'm forever talking to um, people to do things with your, yep. your family. I know some families aren't close. We are. And like brothers and sisters, we go out a lot together and things like that. Yeah. I know that can happen, but, but I just think that sometimes my boys, I might bring up one of the players, say, oh, how's so and going? I hadn't spoken to him for six years. Yeah. I said, oh, but he's your brother. Yeah. He's your brother. Yet another boy, Robbie, I said, how's Joey going? Hadn't spoken to him for three years. I said, your mother would turn in the grave. Yeah. Yeah, so, so you're big on the family dynamic. Oh, very much so. Yep. Yeah. Now, I want to ask you about diet, because again, 90% of the Australian household's budget is spent on processed food. Mm. Give us, and I, I could almost bet of my bottom dollar that your diet isn't high in processed food, yeah. but can you give me a daily rundown of what you eat on a regular basis? Well, well I, New Year's Day used to come along, and I'd sit down with my little girls, and now 55, 53, and 47, because yeah. we make new resolutions. And I claim that you set your mind to do something, nothing should sway you. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, and I do a lot of things, and one of my daughters said, Dad, you only make new resolutions that you can keep. I said, Fair enough, fair <laughs> enough. I said, I'll tell you what, I won't eat lollies, biscuits, or cakes for 12 months. That was 38 years ago. Wow. I've had a lolly, biscuit, or cake for 38 years. I ate a lot of fruit. Not one lolly? No, no. Not no, one Tim no. Tam? Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Never and that. not one piece of birthday cake? Never, no. Wow. But, and I eat dessert. I eat, I see, I'm a good eater, but yeah. uh, breakfast is cereal and fruit. Yep. Uh, lunch is uh, probably salad, sandwich, and stuff like that. I yep. drink a lot of tea. Yep. I drink a tea, and then in the evening it might be fish, it might be oh, whatever, but it might be meat. Like, that, yeah, meat and vegetables. Yeah, yeah. And meat, what's always the, vegetables. So when you say you don't have cake, then what's dessert? If someone made you a uh, sticky note pudding, would you have that? No, no. What about um, golden syrup dumplings? No, oh, look, if it's a dessert, we will yep. put ice cream on, because yep. I eat ice cream, because okay. that's not dessert, that's ice cream, yep. remember that. This is that's bringing you closer to everyone that's just yeah. looking for a little chink. If yeah. they know that you have yeah. ice cream, they're going to go, well, 
maybe I can do what Tommy does. Okay, mm. so you don't mind a bit of ice cream? I eat ice cream nearly every day. Okay. So yeah, like and that's that. always on on the fruit or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I do I do that. Yeah, wonderful. But that's part of my dinner. Yeah. I don't eat between meals. Good work. Um, now, last question. You're 81. How long do you think you're going to keep going for? I never think that. Okay. No, I never ever think. And I just hope I never have to retire. I was sitting around up in Sydney, or oh, probably about a month back. And I've got two days to wait to do a next thing. Stopping at my daughter's place, lives in Sydney. And I said to my wife, oh, God, I was bored out of my brain. Yeah. I said, I hope I never have to retire. And I just thought, well, that's the way I feel about it. I like doing things. I can laze around in the sun. I get down the surf with my grandchildren and stuff like that. But that's holiday time. That's in December and January. But yeah. during, say, the month of July and August, forget it. I want to be out there. Yeah, I'm man. on the phone all the time. Yeah. 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 Well, Tommy, once again, thank you so much for coming down. As far as we're concerned, you are the leader in healthy ageing in Australia. There is no other mentor when it comes to ageing well in this country other than you. I want to thank you so much for giving us your time, and we look forward to having you back. Yeah, good on you, Marcus. Thank you very much. Good Thanks, boy. Tommy. Thank you. Yeah.